Today, we'll be opening up the Pinebook Pro from Pine64. And we'll see if we can remove the EMMC module. So you start out with these screws. I believe there's 10 of them in the back here. Well, that screwdriver is a little too big. So going to a smaller screwdriver, give that a shot. Ah, oh, much better. Now I noticed that the one that came out of this corner is shorter than the one that came out of the center there. So I'll have to keep track of that. All right, so it looks like these four are short screws up here and the rest are all longer. Just a light pull up there. So we've got a wire and it appears to be connected on this side and a speaker on that side. So those are the two speakers, those two wires, speaker, speaker, they go here and here, but they're just connected by uh, sticky tape. So I'll move these screws out of the way so that I don't accidentally knock them off the desk. And we'll take a closer look. So right here, we can see the 128 gigabyte module. That's the EMMC. You can remove it just by pulling up on one of the corners. And you can see it's a standard EMMC module that's used by Pine64. And you'll also find the same type of module on an Odroid. So that's... Uh, what's containing the operating system on this, along with all of the files and everything. The only time it wouldn't is if I put something on the micro SD card or if I had the M2 slot. So here we have the RK3399 SOC. And uh, this is a thermal pad that transfers the heat from this chip through the pad to the magnesium alloy casing. This is the 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack that comes in the Pinebook Pro. That's one of the reasons why it has such a good long battery life. And then over here we have the micro SD card, the headphone port, which also acts as a serial port, and one of the USB ports here. And that connects via this ribbon cable to the main board. So this would be like Rock Pro 64 board right here. Obviously, it's a different board that's been customized to work with this system. Okay, so now the easiest way to reassemble is to make sure that the speakers are in their little spots on both sides here. The wires should be on the top sides of the speakers, the, the sides facing the back of the Pinebook Pro. Then we'll take the lid, center it over the screw holes. Then, as long as we remember that the short screws, the four short screws go in the front and the six long screws go on the sides and the back. All right, there we go. Let's power it on and we'll make sure it works. Looks good. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.